What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's Drip Guy Daryl, and I'm back at you guys with another thing. So, before we get started, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys for all the support on the channel, on the shorts, on the videos, and all that good stuff. And if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm sick. So, if it's a lot of cuts in this video, that's because I either coughed or sneezed and I just cut it out so you guys didn't have to hear all that nastiness. But in today's video, we will be premiering another episode of Star Bench Cut. Now, I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for this and for today's video, we have three point guards. The first point guard is De'Aaron Fox. As we know, he's been going crazy in the league. The second point guard is Darius Garland. As we know, young player, he has also been going crazy. And last but not least is Jalen Brunson, player for the Knicks who's been going crazy as well. So without further ado, if you've never watched my Star Bench Cut episodes, then I will explain how I actually judge these players to choose for our Star Bench and Cut. So the first category is the stats because the stats tell you how efficient a player is the second category is the eye test because the eye test shows you how a player makes his money is he a player that is heavily involved when it comes to the pick and roll is he a player that's more of a catch and shoot style of player that's what the eye test will really help you understand how a player actually plays the game of basketball. And last but not least is the context. The context can be pretty much anything. It could be how effective or how great of a career that player has had individually. And it can also be how effective the player has been for his team when it comes to success. So that's what the context is. And hey, without further ado, let's get to the stats. All right, so for the stats category, let's start off with De'Aaron Fox. So in the 2022-2023 season, De'Aaron Fox has played 54 games. He has averaged 25.3 points per game, 4.3 rebounds per game, 6.2 assists per game. His field goal percentage is 51.4%. His three-point percentage is 33.1%. His free throw percentage is 79%. His effective field goal percentage is 55.7%. His PR is 21.5. And his win shares is 5.5. Next up is Jalen Brunson. So, in the 2022-2023 season, Jalen Brunson has averaged 58 games. He has averaged 23.7 points per game, 3.6 rebounds per game, 6.2 assists per game. His field goal percentage is 48%. His three-point percentage is 40.7%. His free throw percentage is 83.7%. His effective field goal percentage is 53.4%. His PER is 21%. And his win shares is 7.4%. Last but not least is Darius Garland. So, in the 2022-2023 season, Darius Garland has played 53 games. His points per game is 22. His rebounds per game is 2.6. His assists per game is 7.8. His field goal percentage is 46.7%. His three-point percentage is 41.7%. His free throw percentage is 86.6%. His effective field goal percentage is 54.6%. His PER is 19.8 and his win shares is 6.3. Now I will put all of these stats right here and y'all tell me who y'all feel like won the stats category. Now. When it comes to the stats category between these three different players, it's very hard to judge who actually won, and that's why I actually do these star bench cuts, so they can be difficult for all of us to actually judge on who we feel like really the best. But in my opinion, in the stats category, ah, goddamn, this tough. Man, I think, man, I think I would go with the Aaron Fox as number one. He does have the highest points per game and rebounds per game. Then I'd have Jalen Brunson at number two. And at number three, I would have Darius Garland. Now, Darius Garland, he does have the highest three-point percentage. So it's really negligible on who I could really put at the top when it comes to the stats category. But 
since we're struggling so hard when it comes to the stats category, let's go to the eye test so we can actually take a look at how these players play the game of basketball. All right, so as you guys can see, we all switched over, and y'all see who it is. It's ZH Highlights. Shout out to him. Y'all already see what that say. It says subscribe, and y'all already know what to do. Subscribe to ZH Highlights for all these highlights, and also subscribe to your motherfucking boy because I'm dropping quality NBA content. But let's full screen this, and let's get right into it. It was our two-ball drill. The decone is a perfect compliment. We have everything you need from ball handling gloves, bump pads, shooting eggs, and cones. Go to ballhoggloves.com. You keep first. working with these gloves until you can do that drill, until you can handle the ball the right way. And they are healthy, and they are in terrific form. Kevin Herter has been a great pickup for Sacramento. Let's it fly. Nice ball like that, shooting 39% from above the arc. <laughs> the opponent scores, they come right back at him. And now Fox throws his hat in the ring, and he knocks down a three. So we have 16 points in two minutes. And Sacramento, they got off to a rough start of the year. Oh, four, really rebounded, but they come to this game. Good defense does better off. That they're in their spots, and he was right there. Great pass. Oh, nice pass between the traffic. That was a good ass pass. And the rebound. So first five of ten, by the way, in this first quarter from above the arc. 34 to 29. They're out in front. Fox rolling into the lane. And the south ball finishes with a nice touch inside. Team shooting over 55% from the field here in this first quarter. Man tries to hand it off to the two. And Fox able to poke it free. The Lake Monk, man. I miss him being on the Lakers, man. I really do. Good defense by Powell. Lyle driven off the line, but into the rim. Lays it up, lays it in, count it, and a foul. Well, nine points in the first quarter is not a good start for your prediction. The third? As he knocked oh. down a three. I don't know if you want I don't know if they can <laughs> hold him under 30 points. He's a really good get back and transition defense that they used to do it every day against each other. Fox gets one more. This shot through the foul. He's too. got 14. And one. He times the score at 70. My boy Russ. He was killing them with that mirror range. I came front. They had it. And that's going to be part of it. Learning on the fly here. 21 games tonight, oh. included remaining for the Clippers with four pieces. PG. Don't keep getting cooked, PG. Come on, man. George, what a pass to Herder for three in the corner. What a play by Fox. Oh, Lord. Looks to attack from the baseline. Goes up and in, and De'Aaron Fox now with 20. George. Just goes right at Sabonis. Loses the handle. Fox. Pass. Oh, Ali. Let's go. And I feel like we could stop it right there. Yeah, if y'all want to watch the full highlights of this, I definitely recommend watching it. It was a crazy game. I think they actually scored up to like 170 points, which is wild. It was double OT. So, hey, I definitely recommend checking out ZH highlights to watch the full highlights for this game. But, hey, just from the eye test, as we all know, my boy De'Aaron Fox is fast as fuck. And with him being fast as fuck, he can blow by a lot of players. We've seen it happen to Paul George. We've seen it happen to Westbrook, where he would just, you know, get that first step and blow by them. Now, we did see him hit 1-3, but obviously, based on the stats, his three-point percentage isn't, you know, that great. It's below league average, but if he is open, he can make it every now and then. One thing I have noticed and that I like a lot is that he has slowed his game down a lot when it comes to just driving. When he was younger, he used to drive so fast and drive so hard that he'd end up losing the ball or throwing a bad pass. But I like how he has really slowed his game down and has learned to actually, you know, take what the defense gives you and find that open player if he can't beat his player. So I definitely like that. But let's move on to the next player. All right, so 
The next player we will be taking a look at is Jalen Brunson's highlights. Now, these highlights are also against the Clippers, so it should be very interesting to compare how Jalen Brunson played against the Clippers um, versus De'Aaron Fox. So let's take a look at these highlights and let's get him, man. Warm up ball handling drills, our two ball drill. I know y'all tired as hell of saying this out. Let's let's let's, let's, let's keep it a buck, y'all. <laughs> let's keep it a buck. I know y'all tired of saying these ball hog gloves. Let's keep it a bet. I am too. I, I'm gonna skip it for y'all next time. I'm gonna keep it a bet. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it for y'all, man. With a record of 28 and 25. Another All Star kid. Nice shot, Julius Randle. I wish he was hitting. Hold on, I gotta pause this for a second. I wish my boy Julius Randle was hitting from three like that at the three point contest. Cause boy, sheesh. <laughs> now nah, let me let me let hey, let's let's keep it moving. Brunson trying to find his game. Nice, Mitty. Brunson with his first bucket. Clippers lead by seven. Rucks it into the paint. Rucks it out Damn. of the paint. Over the defense. Aaron averages five pounds to go with his 20 points. Mission back out. Good three. Rucks it from behind the arc. Brunson three for three. And Midas touch tonight. Clippers now with 10 three point field goals. Rucks it. Brunson getting into the act now. Randall also trying to get back into the flow. Randall gets the Easy ball. shot. <laughs> they told me it was full. I guess all your friends were calling you. Hey, Julius, he's heating up. <laughs> oh, nice move. Oh, Kawhi, too. Nice move. Nice move. Nah, we gotta we gotta pause that. That was some that was good work. That was good work. And it was on Kawhi. Good ass work, man. Hey, let me let's continue. My bad, y'all. In that first half, how would you describe the way he's been able to execute the game plan? Great. That's how he's been all year for us. I mean he's been great. And uh Yep, Marker did a good job this year to make it. Here's Brunson. Randall back out. Here's Brunson from three. Around the curl. Left elbow. Man committing his second personal foul. Here's Brunson oh again from three. When he hit like that, you can't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing about it. Barrett just two for 13. He's 0 for 5. Last play, y'all. Three point range. Oh. Brunson has been on fire. Yeah, that's a nice way to pause it. He just walked up on him and hit the three. Now, for the eye test when it comes to Jalen Brunson, one thing that I really like about him is how he also, similar to De'Aaron Fox, you know, you know, takes what the defense gives him. I like how he's always putting his defender on his hip so that the defender can't, you know, block his shot, especially him being a smaller guard. And... Another thing that we definitely seen was just how efficient he is from the three, man. We just seen him just hit a walk-up three like it was nothing. We seen him come around that curl, around that pick, and hit a three like it was nothing. And that's something I feel like is very underrated. He also is hitting a lot of mid-range shots, similar to the Aaron Fox as well. So, he definitely has a great game, man. A great all-around game, man. I like what I've seen. But let's move on to the next player. All right, so yeah, I've switched over to the next player. And like I told y'all, I'm not about to put y'all through another one of these. I ain't about to put y'all through another ball hog gloves commercial, man. We don't want them gloves, man. We don't want them. But hey, let's let's watch this. Push the ball ahead. Good things happen for this team, especially when you have all this shooting. Guy Good draw. I mean, his growth over the years. Can I hop on my soapbox real quick? Sure. As a player, when I'm hot like that, I understand it's a, it's a big lead. Easy. Effortless. Just sit the guy, give me two more minutes. I mean, you know the Cavaliers will step, uh, their step slow as far as recovering to nice the shooters. Play. Garland 
Allen. Put him on the hilt. Put him on the hilt. Mobley's got it with 25 seconds. Nice move. That's a good veteran style of move. Oh, yeah, he's Garland. walking to it. And he's got 17. Darius Garland Ooh. gets in and scores. That's his second home run shot of the night. Mitchell hikes it up. Let him get started. Okoro to Garland. Easy. One hand to the glass. Easy layup package, man. But Mitchell back to Garland. Nothing but net. What can you do? 24 for Darius Garland. Intended for Johnson intercepted Garland stops and pops. Oh, all right, we stopped it right there. And I know a lot of y'all probably like, man, show the full highlights. But hey, I respect my fellow YouTubers, my fellow content creators. And if y'all want to watch the full highlights for any of these videos, check out my boy ZH highlights, man. Get him his bag too, man. Get him his bag too. But my thoughts on Darius Garland. He has a well-rounded game. As we can see, I feel like he's the most deadliest when it comes to that three-point shot. Just on the ways that he can really make them, man. He's walking into threes. He's coming around picks. Just pulling up in threes. He and it's so it's so dangerous. And the thing about it is that he's still very young, too. And man, he pretty much does everything well. His layup package was great. He could hit the floater if he can't make it to the rim. And, man, what else can I say? I feel like they all, all three of these players, man, they have very well around the games. Yes, yeah, some of them might be slightly better than others in specific areas, but that's what the context for. And without further ado, let's switch over to the context category of this video. All right, so let's get to it. The context part of this video. So first off, let's start off with De'Aaron Fox. When it comes to De'Aaron Fox, I could say he's probably the most proven and the most consistent of this bunch. For the past three years, he has averaged at least over 23 points. Over the past three years, his three-point shot has been below league average. So with that being said, you kinda know what you are going to get with him. You're going to get a player who is very quick and can easily average 20 points per game, can get to the free throw line. And yeah, that's what you're going to get out of him. Can also pass pretty well as, as well. And like I said, we've seen it over the past three years. So we know we, we can expect to see this, you know, in the next couple of years. We can actually expect to see this consistently. When it comes to Jalen Brunson and also Darius Garland, they haven't showed that many years of this consistency. Jalen Brunson, this is pretty much his first year averaging over 20 points. Darius Garland, this is his second year averaging over 20 points. So that is something that I want to note as well, that they haven't been as consistent, in a sense, as the Aaron Fox. Another thing, and I would say this is an upside for especially my boy, Darius Garland is that he's only 23 years old. We got to understand that De'Aaron Fox is 25 years old and Jalen Brunson is 26 years old. So Darius Garland, he's very young and he has more time to, you know, actually reach his prime. He hasn't actually reached his prime yet. So that's another thing that I want to put in you guys head for food for thought. Another thing that I want to bring up is that De'Aaron Fox, he is a one-time All-Star. My boy Darius Garland is also a one-time All-Star. And it's crazy to me how, you know, De'Aaron Fox, him consistently averaging over at least 23 points per game in the last three years, and he hasn't been an All-Star compared to Darius Garland, who really you know only been in the league for about two to three years and he's already hit that all-star category now when it comes to just that context of the team and how much they have been impactful for their respective teams 
Darius Garland, he's a stud. Last year, without Donovan Mitchell, they were in the playoffs. They were the eighth seed. So that's something we do have to note, that when Darius Garland actually, you know, upped his game and really started to break out, that team as well broke out, and they actually were in the playoffs. Um, for the Sacramento Kings, De'Aaron Fox has been averaging 20, over 23 points for the past three seasons. And they're just now, just now, actually really starting to, you know, really make a playoff push. So I do want to note that that does kind of hinder or kind of deflate some of, you know, the impressiveness of or the impact of the Aaron Fox's game because with him averaging that same amount of points these past three years, it's like, was he really, you know, contributing to this team's success or was it just the coaching or the new pieces that they picked up, in a sense? So, I do want to note that as well. And last but not least, Jalen Brunson. Now, the Knicks, they have always, for the most part, been like one of those middling teams in the um, Eastern Conference and always have been in that playoff mix. And this year... They are, once again, in the playoff mix. But I do feel like he has helped them a lot. Now, to just get my thoughts on who I would start, who I would bench, and who I would cut. No, this is very hard, but I think I would start Darius Garland. I think I would bench De'Aaron Fox, and I think I would cut Jalen Brunson. No, the reason I say this is because, to me, the Darius Garland and Jalen Brunson, they're damn near interchangeable in a sense when it comes to just their statistics and all of that. But I feel like Darius Garland, he is the better passer, and also he's younger. He hasn't hit his prime yet. So I feel like that's the point that really pushes him forward when it comes to, you know, Jalen Brunson and him. And also when it comes to De'Aaron Fox and Darius Garland, I like that Darius Garland is a better shooter. I feel like that's very important. And Darius Garland, he's decent defensively as well, similar to De'Aaron Fox. I feel like De'Aaron Fox is maybe the slightly, slightly better defender. He is a little bigger. But I do like the more consistent three-point shot from Darius Garland. But, hey, if y'all enjoyed this Star Bench Cut, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the motherfucking channel. Turn on notifications and all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.